sent. Offer was sent. What did he say? Hey. Offer was sent. Give us what? Offer was sent. Look at you scared now, you ho. Scared like a little white pussy. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm both. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get buddy back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So, look, man. We got some news today at the Jerron Boots Ennis camp. You know, Jerron Boots Ennis, he's kind of stuck between the rock and the hard place, right? Because he's at 147 and he's declared that he's he, he uh, wants to stay at 147 for the immediate future, you know, and, and, and pursue Undisputed, which I think is a great decision. You know, I, I would love for him to try to unify and get Undisputed in the 147 pound division. Now, you know, the IBF, which is where he holds the title, um, they, they kind of threw a wrench in there um, for that pursuit in the in the imminent future because they, they have ordered the Karen rematch you know, because Karen is a mandatory so he deserves he, he deserves that fight to fight the opportunity to fight for the belt so, but, but unfortunately we already seen the fight before and I don't think anybody wants to see that fight at least not right now you know I wouldn't mind seeing that fight in the future but I think other fights should be prioritized and I think that Eddie Hearn and Boots Ennis are on the same uh, on the same page you know Eddie Hearn being uh, the promotional company that uh, Matchroom being the promoter, promotional company Eddie Hearn being the promoter for Jerome Boots Ennis you know and Eddie Hearn, um, he has demonstrated that he's on the same page by saying that he sent to offer to Mario Barrios, you know, another champion at 147, the WBC champion for potential opportunity to unify, you know, and um, I don't know how that's going, you know, to be honest, but, you know, there are other champions there, you know, I know Mario Barrios recently had a new addition to his family, you know, I had a baby, so shout out to him, a baby girl, I believe, congratulations to the Barrios family, um, so I'm not sure how that, how that, I'm not giving him any excuse not to fight, I'm just saying this is the circumstances that are going on, you know, and then I know, um, WBA champion is, um, well, the regular champion is Stanley Onis, right, with, uh, Terrence Crawford being the full champion, but I we fully expect him to, uh, to vacate that, and then, uh, Stanley Onis be to, to be elevated in a similar fashion as a WBO champion, right? Brian Norman to where Terrence Crawford uh, vacated and he was elevated. So, you know, speaking of Brian o Norman, perfect opportunity to segue right into uh, Jerron Boots and his man. Jerron Boots and his has seemingly uh, um, exposed Brian Norman for being a duck. Offer was sent two days ago. You know what I'm saying? We've seen a lot of ducks lately. You know, Lobachenko, we got Duckchenko, we got Zapata, Duck Ada, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> But, you know, but I think that, that we always jump to say people are ducking, right? So check out this interview right here, man. I, I see that this was, this was a very important moment, man. Look at what Jerron Boots in the set. They're saying that if, if it's next, then it's next. The offer was sent. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Offer was sent two days ago. And no back and forth negotiation or offer was sent two days ago. So the majority of you, those of you that are a little slow, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, retarded, y'all heard this. Offer was sent two days ago. Y'all heard, oh, an offer was sent. So Brian Norman duck boots. <laughs> Oh, wow. But check out this part of the interview. Somebody like me, that's what I'm here for. The most important part of it was when the interviewer asked him this part. And no back and forth negotiation or? Offer was sent two days ago. The negotiations. He didn't answer. Now, he could not have answered for a few things. You know, those things being, you know, A, you know, he was, um, the, the original offer that was sent was not acknowledged by Brian Norman's camp, which leads to uh, the frustration on Boots. Yeah. B, uh, there was no counter offer uh, uh, provided in, re in response to the original offer sent, which could result in Boots being frustrated, understandably so. Yeah. Or even C, you know, um, Boots just didn't feel like addressing the question due to frustration, yeah. which I understand because if I'm Boots, I would feel like nobody wants to fight me. However, y'all got to understand, man. Y'all be wanting the fighters to send contracts. Y'all be wanting the, 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 the coaches to send contracts, the promoters to send contracts. Why don't you send your own contract? You know what I'm saying? You the fan. Go ahead, go ahead and send your own contract because you know how everything goes. It, it, you, we got to acknowledge the business aspect of it, man. Just because a contract was sent, an offer was sent, does not mean that it's an offer that the other side wants to accept. You dumbass. Or, or, or appreciates or feel like it, 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 it um, values their worth, you know, or matches or aligns with their worth. For example, I'm gonna give you an example right now. When, let, let's say I'm on a car lot, right? I'm like, dang, man, I like all these cars, you know, but I see three cars that shining right there. Ooh, them three cars are the best, man. The, 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 the car, car, car A is called Barrios. <laughs> car B is called B. Norman Jr. And car... Car, car, car C is 
the standing onus. <laughs> you see what I did there? You see where I'm going? So let's say I want, oh, I mean, I, I got to have that standing onus car. I mean, I got to have that standing onus car. So I approached the dealer like, hey, man, you know, hey, man, I, I want that standing onus car, man. But wait, before you tell me how much you want, before you tell me how much it costs, before you tell me how much it's worth, the offer is sent. And I walk off. <laughs> I come back a couple days later frustrated because I don't see the car delivered to me. What? I don't have the car in my yard yet. What? I don't have I, I don't have the car in my possession, and I'm frustrated. Okay. You know. But what if naturally, what if the person that's selling the car didn't think that I offered a fair price for what it's worth? You see what I'm saying? What if what if I don't even know what 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 what, what they want for the car, and I didn't offer sufficient funds, which is similar to, to part A. You know. Or what? Or what if they're willing to negotiate, but I didn't even give them an opportunity to to, to, to send to send the counter and tell me what they wanted? So should I expect the car? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> so we could we could act like every single one of the champions are the best car on the lot, but they also have a desire on a return as well. So I'm not saying Brian Norman is ducking. I'm not saying that Jerome Boots Innes didn't send him an appropriate offer. I'm saying I don't know. So so before y'all jump off the uh, off off the deep end, you know what I'm saying to act like you know everything. To just consider those th- those factors, and guess what? This is what Brian Norman Sr. has sent back in response to Jerome Boots Ennis. So you see, he's claiming that they did send a counter offer, and he's claim also claiming that he hollered at Bozy Ennis, who's Jerome Boots Ennis' father, and Bozy said that he didn't even know that they sent a the counter offer back. So I'm not saying I don't know who's telling the truth, but every time you see a fight not happen. Every time you see a fight that doesn't come into fruition, it does not automatically mean that somebody's ducking. So you can either acknowledge that there's a business side of boxing. Yeah. You can either or or you can acknowledge that you don't know how these fights are made. Yeah. And and, and, and the protocol that needs to be followed. Or you could continue to keep your head in the sand like the dumbass retard that you are. <laughs> <laughs> the choice is yours, man. But that's why I'm here to to, to shed a little light on the situation, man. I, I personally would like for a drawn boots in this to stay at 147 and pursue undisputed. I do think Brian Norman is, is his biggest, uh, his, the biggest roadblock for him getting undisputed. But I do think I, right now, if they fought right now, I would lean towards uh, boots because Brian Norman, he did recently become a title holder. You know, he was an underdog to Giovanni Santilli and he went in his backyard and, and put a beating on him. You know, but he is only 23, and I would like to see him get a defense, you know, against his mandatory, who I think is Chakram Gishov. You know, I think he's ranked number one uh, before he stepped in there with boots. However, if they want to get it popping right now, I would love it. I think that's the best fight to be made at 147. But I also, I think that uh, Boots versus Barrios is a great fight as well. Yeah. I think Boots versus Stanionis is a great fight as well. And I think yeah. Stanionis has, has a good shot to beat Boots, but I would lean towards Boots over everybody in that division right now. But this notion that, oh, if the fight doesn't happen, and because I'm frustrated, it automatically means that. Everybody else is ducking me or afraid of me. I, I, I'm, um, uh, I understand how Boots feels that way. I definitely get how Boots feels that way. But us as fans, we got to do better. You can't just assume that Brian Norm is ducking, Stan Young is ducking, Barrios ducking, or even Boots himself is ducking or, or, or not ready to make the fight. Man, I think that's a that, that's that's a um, that's a that's a terrible perspective to have and and, and, and a horrible, uh, often erroneous assumption to make. You know, um, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, and every time a fight doesn't happen that we want to happen, it does not uh, automatically mean that somebody's ducking because a negotiation can't be made or, or a deal can't be brokered, you know, or, 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 or a contract be uh, written out and agreed to and, and, and adhered to, it does not necessarily mean that's not synonymous with oh, well, I'm scared of them. I don't think too many of these fighters are scared of each other. I mean, they're fighters, you know, but I do think a lot of times that they do not agree on the bottom line, on, on, on how much greenery the other one's willing to put in their scenery. You know what I'm talking about? What do you so mean That's that? just how it goes, man. So we got to keep keep uh, keep keep um we got to acknowledge that, you know, and uh, I, I would like to see these fights, these fights happen. I understand why Boots is frustrated. And um, yeah, I, I, I would love to see Brian Norman next. So we'll see how it goes. But if it happens, um, you know, Barrio said he'll fight him. We'll see uh, if he's going to accept the offer or provide a counter offer to Eddie Hearn. If not, you know, maybe he's ducking. I don't know. But I just think it's a it's a bad it's, it's a horrible trend that needs to be stopped, you know, for every time a fight does it happen how you want it to happen or when you want it to happen at the price you want it to happen that means that this person or that person is ducking the other person like we gotta we gotta chill out with that man but i appreciate y'all rocking me as always man y'all know what to do hit that like button but more importantly remember with god we can do anything without god or nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. <laughs>